Welcome back, everyone, to part three of Let's Play Scooby Doo Mystery. Now, it's actually been about two months since I've recorded this game. But, you have no way of telling that because I'm uploading these, ep these episodes on a weekly basis. And at the time it's recording, I just uploaded the first part of Super Metroid. Well, it's on schedule publishing, so it's just been released to subscribers. <coughs> and here's a different opening scene where there's a bit of action involved instead of just everyone talking. Just a few days to get. <coughs> yeah, that's another thing that's kept me from recording a lot. <coughs> I caught a cold just after I finished recording Super Metroid. It's mostly gone now. It was just a cough that's been around for a few days and does not want to go away and leave me alone. It's annoying. Yeah, so, just the other day, my girlfriend moved away and out of state. Maybe because she still lives with her family and they can no longer afford to pay for the house here, so... They went out somewhere much, much cheaper. And... It hasn't been easy. The day before she had to finish packing, we spent the whole day together. That would be our last chance to see each other for a very long time. Since it's pretty far out there. <laughs> Originally, I was going to re try to record at least one of these episodes remaining for this game with her, but that did not come to be. <laughs> well, actually, it's a, it's a good thing for her that she went there because it's a much better environment and there's better help there for her health problems. Because most of the doctors around here either don't understand her illness or... Ah, stupid jump. Or they just don't help very much. And so she really can't be dealing with that. Not when it takes such a toll on her. From what I've heard from her so far, I have talked to her since she's been there already. She actually is doing better already. <laughs> so, it is helpful to hear that. Yeah, most of her stuff has been set up because they're actually in a temporary house and it'll be about a month from now that they're moving into their full house. Which I don't know the exact address for yet. I know the address for her temp house, but not the one she's going to be permanently moved to. So yeah, last Saturday was not a happy day for me, or her for that matter. Yeah, I've just been trying to keep busy to keep from being depressed about it. It's helped a little, I guess. Yeah, doing these videos while she's away kind of helps fill the void, but. It does nothing for her, her being there. <laughs> but, in less depressing news, yeah, we'll probably be recording Wolf to Wild Goombas again pretty soon. <laughs> ah, you rat. 
I can just jump over. Yeah, I can. Alright. Daphne? Yes, I need that very much, thank you. Yeah, so like I was saying, be recording again after Wild Goomba soon. I mean, originally we were going to be recording tomorrow, but we weren't able to put things together. So, it's going to be delayed a bit, but it will be happening soon. I mean, it's been a year, we might as well get to it. <laughs> but, yeah. It's gonna happen soon. Anyway. So, that'll be something I can occupy myself with. <laughs> Plus, classes are starting up again. Starting tomorrow morning, actually, for me. Yeah, I have my classes two days a week. So that'll be another thing. So, yeah. I won't be sad all the time. Plus, I can still talk to her through instant messaging and email now and then. <coughs> so, It'll be alright. Anyway, haven't talked about this game any. Aside from I haven't been playing it much. Well, recording it, that is. Anyway, this is the third mystery. And I have the sound down. But I do th think this is the song that's used in the very first mystery. It's already being reused. And I hope I haven't been skipping too much of this text or going through it too fast. Anyway. Yep, there's some kind of swamp monster on this land for who knows what reason. And remember and my other parts where I mentioned there's platforming segments, last time we had, kind of the most tedious or annoying. Here's what can be the hardest. Well, not that part right there, that was like, pretty easy. But if you didn't want you to know what you're doing, it could be a challenge. I don't know what this pumpkin is doing here, but it's getting annoying not hitting it. Yeah, and that. Yeah, this thing is a gas can, like Freddy said, when you hit the power of the generator. But what for? And here's where it, this gets hard. I always get nervous during that jump because touching these thorns will make your fear go up all the way. You have to do this entire room again. Which I don't want to do, and so I won't. And how the hell did Velma get ahead of us? Not this zombie again. <coughs> now I don't have to really dodge him since I can jump over it. But I don't feel like dealing with it either. So I can just stay away. What do you want, Fred? No, Doing two mysteries, I wouldn't dare think to do that, Freddy. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, this hasn't been very much as an LP video, as it's been mostly a vlog set to this game. But anyway, this stage was... I'd never completed it for a long time. Because of that section right there. I just can never get that jump done. Until I realized I could just put the tires at the very edge. <coughs> and leave it there. What you gotta say? Yeah, 
Seeing so after all these mysteries, you know every time it's a fake monster, wouldn't you? Did not see that coming. I think this just lets us jump to the start of this place. Don't know why you would want that, because there's nothing there. But, it's there if you need it. Now, this is tricky. Ow. Yeah, I probably should just run over it and wait for the beast to go away. <laughs> so, here's the first death of the second half of the game, right here. Luckily, it does not undo finding the boots, and the bees are still chasing after me. Well, they don't follow us beyond. <coughs> I guess Bell was stuck in here while we were running all over the place. Yeah, so it pretty much just like the boots we found at the very start of the stage. I don't remember, is there anything up this way? I know about uh, this thing, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> now I can take the hit, I'm at full health again. Yeah, but why is this being searched? Yeah, during my opening I kind of skipped over the opening section, so... <coughs> and I don't remember quite well what the start of this is. And how does this thing here appear after I get screwy smack from her? I don't know. Yeah, so... I... I always do that. I always think I'm not going to make the second jump, so I Try to make it out. We're back to the tires, and <coughs> I fall into the pit. So let's try this. Well, what do you guys say about this film? Yeah, like someone fell into that pit, I guess. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Well, somehow they put me over on the other side. Lucky me, I didn't have to do anything this time. Yeah. Believe it or not, this, this level's almost over. It's actually really short. Even shorter than the first one. Yeah. That didn't tell us anything, Velma. Pretty much, this the land is being researched, and we're founding pieces of the ghost costumes. Look at you, Freddy, trying to sound like a hero, but you haven't done shit this whole time. Well, you, you help blow the leaves away, but that was it. I think there's like maybe one, maybe two clues left. So, we're nearing... Don't throw that, I'm actually gonna need it. At least these zombie guys are not being a dick like that wolf ghost in the last circus. That was just terrible. Why am I talking to you? I need Velma. Oh, I thought I wouldn't get that. <laughs> so, what is this? A box. Oh, report. Ah, so it's the old man. Could you fill us in? Fill in the justice. You're not heroes, you're a bunch of kids solving mysteries. Alright, Freddy, what's your terrorist plan this time? Surprisingly simple compared to other one. What, you're feeling too lazy? You don't want to have a convoluted way to blow his head off like you did to that clown? Well, 
we already have everything. Plank. Oh yeah, we gotta backtrack. Well, lucky I still have our life in case I screw up that jump again. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, boy. I mean, dog. Alright, now let's try to do this right. Yeah. So is Shaggy's gonna have a migraine. I'll just smoke some more pie and he won't feel it at all. So, I don't count that as a failure. And just one pass. These bees will not get me this time. No, they won't. You know what? I'll have a snack. Fill my health up. Let's do this. And how did you all get here ahead of me? Okay, glitch much? Yeah, Velma, you can just keep walking in place. I'll solve this mystery. You already showed me this. I have everything. Ah, you mean like this? I showed you this first, just take it. I didn't even need lamp oil for this. <coughs> Alright, fine, but only Velma will stop walking. It's only him I can talk to now. I think it's up this way that we find him. If I remember this right. Is it true? Nope, I guess it's the other way. My bad. Well, it can't be on the same screen. That would be too obvious of a trap. Come on. You know. Oh, would you look at that? You didn't f freeze in space when you got caught. Oh, come on. How can a fan do that so quickly when he's chasing after us? You're talking while you're still running in space. Stop doing that. This guy looks like he don't even care. He's like, meh. Actually, it kind of resembles, now that I see it, kind of resembles the Forever Alone face. That zombie was your wife? Yeah, we tend to get get involved with things we have no business in. It's kind of our thing. Anyway, that's the end of this crappy part three. I'll see you next time for mystery number four. Till next time, everybody. Scooby-Doo! That's my pal! Scooby-Dooby-Doo!